Hello everyone, I am Rachna Pathak from Walchan Institute of Technology, Solapur. In this video, we are going to study all about open source content management softwares. Learning outcomes. At the end of this session, you will be able to explain open source softwares like WordPress, Joomla, Alfresco, Umbraco, Life Reporter, which are nothing but types of open source softwares. Introduction. Now, why open source software? So, let's begin with the introductory part. Here we see a software whose source code is freely distributed with a license to study, change and further distributed to anyone for any purpose is called an open source software. Now, not all of us can spend huge amount on purchasing this software or sometimes the situation may be we genuinely find no requirement in investing these types of software which already have an alternative as like open source softwares. One more reason is that we all are aware about dedicated programmers consistently improving upon source code and share their modifications within the community as and when done. Now why open source software? Here we see a pyramid where we have some essential factors which are ultimately seeking attention to use open source softwares. Suppose you don't have expertise or huge amount to invest and of course time which allows us to switch to open source softwares. Here we have highlighted some key concepts like cost reduction that is you need to spend on expensive tools to do your project. Next is your quick time. Quick timing is one more enhanced feature which attracts to use open source softwares. Additionally, we observe that integration and customizing is done easily. We see your integration and your customization is done very easily. Of course, you can never forget about collaboration. After accomplishing the complete module, you need to collaborate it properly. So these were some aspects that evoke us towards open source technologies. Now, principles of open source softwares. Open source do not mean access to the source code only. The distribution term of open source softwares can be fulfilled with the following criteria. Now let us see these criteria. Free redistribution. So, the license should not restrict any party from selling or giving away the software as a component of an aggregate software distribution containing programs from several different sources. The license should not require royalty or any other fee such as sale fees. Derived works. The program should include source code and must allow distribution in source code as well as compiled form. Where some forms of product is not distributed with source code, there must be a well-publicized means of obtaining the source code for no more than a reasonable reproduction cost. Preferably, downloading via the internet without any charge. The source code must be preferred form in which a programmer would modify the program. Another is integrity of the author's source code. The license should allow modification and derived works and should allow them to be distributed under the same term as license of the original software. Now let's see what is source code. The license must explicitly permit distribution of software built from modified source codes. The license may require derived works to carry a different name or version number from the original software. Now how your CMS works. Now, Let's say you just want to start writing a blog or just the website that you want to use to showcase your product or services. One way to do this is of course building it means writing everything from scratch using your HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Building the database and again administrating by keeping record of each minute details. Of course we need an admin panel so end users don't confuse themselves with our websites. We need to keep complete authority at our side. Now, what is a CMS? It is a tool 
which manages the complete content and help us in building our website, which has no prerequisites like your technical knowledge. Here I have shown you pictorially of how CMS flows. We see contents are mapped with really readily available templates and passed to a CMS system which processes it and results in a web page which is easy to understand and end user may be a, your technical or a non-technical person. So this is how your CMS works. Now let us see types of CMS. When we talk about types of CMS, then you may find many of them. So again, which CMS to choose is a question. Of course, there are varieties of CMS with their own pros and cons. Choosing depends on your requirement and knowledge. The most important thing to consider while choosing a CMS platform, according to my opinion, is how much time you are prepared to spend developing and maintaining it. WordPress WordPress is most popular and liked CMS till date. Approximately 51% of entire internet prefer to use WordPress as their best CMS. As we all are aware about WordPress, it's a free and open source content management system based on PHP and MySQL. Features including plugins are acting boom to the architecture and a template system. It is most associated with blogging but supports other types of web contents including more traditional mailing lists and forums, media galleries and online stores. Joomla Of course, WordPress has its own limitation which promotes users to switch to Joomla. WordPress is for those who are afraid of coding and dealing with servers. But if you are not panic of coding and handling servers, then Joomla is just meant for you. Though Joomla is not friendly, it has its own pros. It is used all over the world for everything from simple website to complex corporate applications. Joomla is easy to install, simple to manage and very reliable. Traditional definition of Joomla means all together or as a whole. Joomla is also one of the most powerful content management system. Alfresco. Now why Alfresco? Alfresco is basically for business purpose. When you want high security and commercial benefits, you must prefer going with Alfresco. These have some default restrictions in terms of scalability and availability. Example, there is no built-in clustering support. Quality assurance by Alfresco is limited and bug fixes are only issued for the current versions. Umbraco. This is another content management system. Management-based sites like hotel management, magazines like Vogue and many prefer Umbraco. Of course, this is again user-friendly. CMS makes it easy to publish, edit and manage web-based content. Here it is an alternative to create files on your local computer then upload them to the hosting provider. Drupal If you are developing a website with CMS, Drupal CMS is very flexible than any other CMS. Drupal is of course powerful and can be used for building large complex sites. It is based on your PHP template and allows non-technical users to add and edit the content without any HTML or web design knowledge. Using Drupal CMS, it's easy to interact with other sites or technologies as Drupal can handle complex forms and workflows. Drupal translates anything in the system with building user interfaces. It designs highly flexible and creative websites with effective display quality or thus increasing the visitors to the site. Now let's see about Liferay portal. Liferay portals are basically for mobile apps or any collaborative environment and many more. Here you are readily served with many built-in services which reduces efforts of writing from the scratch. Now, suppose a company ABC is distributing its software and have no access permission to its source code. What do you think whether it's an open source or not? Take a pause and think on it.
So, here is your answer. It's no. Any open source software has access to its source code and then only it is said as open source softwares. Here are some of the references I have used during content preparation of this session. Thank you.